Hello, this is Ryan with Deepwood Handcraft, bringing you this video from a bright and sunny frozen day here in Alaska. It has gotten cold again, finally. It's probably about 10 degrees out today. It was negative 10 last night, which suits me just fine. I'd rather it be cold up here than to be all warm and slushy with the snow on the ground because now everything has melted and all my walking paths have turned to ice which is not as much fun and if you can see my log pile of firewood delivered by log truck it is all covered in ice which makes for uh, splitting difficulties but uh, a little extra workout busting all the ice off the wood before I split it. So we'll deal with it. It's whatever. Get warm twice and all that. So I just want to bring you this quick video today to show you something I just finished up on. Finally, I've got a bunch of half finished stuff laying all over the place, which I will be wrapping up shortly, including a mountain of uh, four Buckeye bags and a backpack that will all be getting done hopefully sooner rather than later but this one's been sitting kind of on the shelf half finished for a while so I went ahead and got it done because the person has been waiting for a long time for this um, so let's take a look at this this is a uh, another canteen shoulder pouch for a Pathfinder School canteen shop canteen cup stove setup. It's very similar to the other one I did, except that it's got some uh, cool stuff going on. Sheath permanently attached to the shoulder strap as per the customer's wishes. This one is holding a uh, heel tegagami. which will be going back with the owner, because it's his. So on this one we did some pockets. People have been asking a lot about pockets. We can do pockets on these, no problem. He didn't really give me a specific need or want, so I just kind of went with what I thought I could get away with on this small Thing. So the first, the main pocket. This is an Altoids tin. There's still lots of room in the pocket for some other stuff. Along the side, probably fit about two Bic lighters side by side right there. And still have room. I had two Bic lighters on the side and a small Altoids tin pouch for the, like the small mints on top of this one and there was still room for some stuff like uh, jute twine bundles or small um, surefire tabs or whatever you want to throw in there just got the antler toggle closure on it <clears throat> these side pockets are just flat pockets this one I've got a DC4 sharpening stone still in the sheath my hands are kind of numb here because it's cold out, but just so you can see that. It's a bit of a tight fit because of the rib. You kind of see this rib on the canteen, but that's not a problem. This stuff is not falling out of these side pockets for sure. On this side I've just got a little uh, case trapper knife. and an extra Bic lighter. The customer wanted to be able to carry his fire making stuff along with his knife and kind of have all in one package to be able to cook and make fire and have a cutting tool all in the same package. So that's what we've done. We can make these pockets a little bit different dimensions but because of the shape of the canteen 
you notice these went right on the side right on the front probably do something on the back too if it was just a even if it was just a flat pocket that kind of went all the way around, but that would be more difficult to do because of the seam. But I'm a glutton for punishment, so. If you notice these pockets, the seam is on the inside. On all of these pockets. And that is difficult to do because you can't turn it back inside out again because it's on the body itself. But I think it looks nice, so I do it that way. I can put the seam on the outside if that's your style, if you like to see all the stitching for everything. Otherwise, sewing stuff inside out without it being inside out will just be my little secret for the moment. So that's it, just to show some of the options. I can put knife sheaths on the strap. I can put them on here so that you can take the sheath off and put it on your belt or put it back on. The strap, this one is just sewn permanently on because that's what the customer wanted. There are probably other knives in this same genre of knife that would fit this sheath, but this one is made specifically for the heel tegagami. If I don't have the knife that you are wanting a sheath for, then I will definitely need the knife. I don't attempt to make sheaths for knives I don't have after a few... Uh, air pulling incidents doing it earlier in my career so that's it Pathfinder School canteen shop canteen cook set pouches I do have the uh, older version of the canteen shop cook set with the dark green plastic Nalgene canteen and the canteen shop cook stove and cup so I can make these for uh, that set as well. And I imagine it wouldn't be too hard to make one for uh, the USGI canteen cook sets. But I'd have to get my hands on one of those to be sure. So should you want one of these, just hit me up via phone call or email or Facebook. And I will... Uh, Get back to you. These aren't going in stock anytime soon just because of the amount of time that goes into it and what we've got going on at the moment. But eventually they will be. In the meantime, you can order a custom one. So that's that. About to make a couple more videos just explaining some things and uh, where we're at. So uh, stay tuned for those. Have a good one.